Hello everyone, welcome to What's in the Bag with my pal here, Mr. Peter Hurley. What's happening? I am here at Photoshop World <laughs> with you and I, I, this is, this is, I get to see you. This is what's happening. I know, that it's is cool. I love it. Well, and we've got something that's just, this is total geek talk. I mean, yesterday we were on the podcast, but today we're talking about gear. I love talking about gear. You like gear? I love gear. Okay. I'm a gear junkie. I have issues with gear. You do? I so have you're issues. Kind of I've always geek. had issues with gear. Yes, I would say that. You're a geek. Okay. I'd say there's two things I spend money on. Okay. Well, besides my kids and That's my good. wife and family and stuff. Yes. Two hobbies. Well, well photography is not really a hobby. So I, I race sailboats. And I spend money on photography gear, really? and that's it. So I spend money on sailing and, and photography gear, and that is it. Really? Okay. And on occasion, I'll buy myself some some sort of new article of clothing. But other than that, photography gear beats it. Once every year, you get yeah, some new clothes. That's it. Yeah. Okay, so you have beautiful daughters, beautiful wife. I want to yeah. talk about your passion grab. I mean, when you're out on trips and when you're out, you know, you went to the Bahamas and you're all over the world doing whatever Peter Hurley does, what do you grab? I mean, you're not going to take your phase one with you all over the place, are you? I actually did. Um, really? When we were walking the streets of Paris, I had my phase in my hands. Really? So I usually, um, I, sometimes I will. It just depends on what I feel like walking around with. I really, I have a uh, Canon 5D Mark III okay. with an 85 1.2 on it, okay. which I like. And I need to get a wider one because it's, it's sometimes it's just too close, sure. but especially for when you're cruising around and doing stuff with the family. But I usually, it's usually that that's right now in my bag is, uh, I don't, I, for this, I wasn't doing any live shooting. Mm -hmm. So I just brought the 5D Mark three with the 85 and that's going to tide me over till I get back to the studio. Sure. Yeah. So I, I want to, I want to play on the passion word. Sure. Because obviously you take a lot of portraits, you've done a lot of commercial work. But what is it that you just pick up your Canon or your Phase One? You said you're on the streets of Paris. Yeah. What are you photographing if you're not in the studio? I don't. You know what? It's so. I'm such a studio shooter. I'm. I'm like. I'm like. Always feel more confident when I have a ton of gear. <laughs> and I'm like. Do you really? I don't mind being outside as long as I have my yeah. gear with me. Like when I'm shooting natural light, I'm always like. I started out natural light, but I'm always like questioning, like, am I going to do something that's special? And yeah. I really enjoy the pictures that I took um, while in Europe. But at the same time, I'm I'm so yearning to be in the studio. I just I'm working on a new site with which we're launching today, and I just posted this new picture of this guy, and it's my favorite picture that I've taken in a really long time. I looked at it, and it really gave me the chills almost. It's like my major shebang. I love it. It's this guy, and the thing is, is that that's the thing that I want to stress to the photographers out there is that you have to find what you love and you have to look at your images and get jacked up about them. Like you have to be fired up. Right. And I took this image and you get, that's the other thing is that I tell photographers like, there's a good image anywhere. There's an awesome picture in this room somewhere that somebody could take. I probably couldn't take it, but somebody could take one. Right. Well, if I took a picture of you, it would be awesome. So I could Oh, thank you, yeah. thank you. But this picture in particular, I, it's, this guy's name's Alfredo. He sat in one of my classes. You wouldn't think that in a classroom environment, I got asked to teach at the New York Film Academy and he was sitting in the class in the front row and I looked at him and he's got this crazy mohawk and he's, and he's just phenomenal looking. And I was like, I have to shoot him. Yeah. And I got a portrait that to me is one of the best I've ever taken really? in a classroom environment. So I think any good photographer can do it anywhere under any circumstances at any time. And, you know, I can do it on the street probably, and I've taken shots on the street, but I'm such a gear junkie and control freak like that control. I like, I like to control. To control. Like, yeah. Well, not everyone can afford everything that Peter has in his bag. So definitely check out lensrentals.com and put some, you know, add some things to your arsenal and check these things out. You can try before you buy. But in the meantime, I would definitely follow Peter on all of the social media that he's involved with. He does a lot of things on Spreecast. Uh, you, you do, you're very heavily involved with Twitter and Facebook. So definitely check out PeterHurley.com and everything that he's involved with. Peter, thank you so much. Thank you, can I say one more thing? Sure. Guys, whatever you do, have backup, backup. You gotta have multiple bodies, multiple lenses. I was out doing a job in LA once and I had I had my body, I had two bodies and two backs. They both went down. Oh, okay. And then I had my assistant FedEx me one, and that went down, and then I had to go rent one. 
So now I don't leave I, on a big job. I usually have three bodies um, and a bunch of, and, and I use different cameras. Like, it's like, Hey, if one goes down the client, I'll be like shooting the phase. And if the phase happens to go down, it never has yet. Where's the wood? Um, <laughs> um, then it's good to have that I've got the cannon. And then yeah. if the cannon goes down, I could go to whatever else I have in my bag, which sometimes I have the X 100. So I might go to that or I might go to, you know, the, ha I actually still have my, some Hasselblad gear. So I, have a, I always take my phase with the Hasselblad with the cannon. So I got three bases covered. So if you're doing a big job, guys, back up, back up, back up. Awesome. Great advice. PeterHurley.com. Boom. Thank you, Peter. Thank you.